Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're going to do one more beer, and that'll be it for now. This is called Chocolate Stout. That's the name of the beer, Chocolate Stout. Where'd you get this from? Believe it or not, Aldi. Ah, it's Louisiana off-brand reviews. Well, they're right over there, you know. Um, stout with chocolate extract and chocolate cocoa, cacao. State of Brewing in Wanakee, Wisconsin. It was... It says Best Buy September 7th of 2023, which you know that means it was canned in 2022 on the same date. Now this label looks like they're trying to mimic almost like Young's double chocolate, but you know, they use the purple and gold. This is blue and silver. The uh, 8% alcohol. I didn't even see that. I'll tell you what I saw. I saw something from like the Twilight Zone. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, okay. like some kind of lava lamp, something or other. And um, it was, it was uh, six ninety nine for the four pack. Six ninety nine for the four four pack. So where's the other two at? In the fridge. Well, I drank one. I did a, a solo review. No, why did they only sell you four? Why can they sell you six? Because he's coming four so, packs. Uh, For whatever reason, they come in four packs. All right, so stout made with chocolate extract and cocoa. Why does this look almost like the other one we did? Like almost even the same consistency. I don't know, because maybe they're using the same stout and they're just uh, making it stronger. Eight. Uh, it's maybe, maybe they just put more alcohol in this one. Eight instead of four and a half. Four point uh, two. Cheers. Cheers. Not a stout, it's like a porter. But you didn't smell it. it smells like chocolate and it's just malt. Like chocolate. chocolate malt and freezer. Yeah, it smells like a chocolate stout. The bready barley malt, and the cocoa. Now the taste. It tastes ordinary. <clears throat> there is some chocolate in it. But other than that, it just tastes ordinary. Just like a bland drink. It, it tastes like a Yoohoo without the milk in it. I don't think you who has milk in it, but you who tries to mimic chocolate milk. You who does something to those you who drinks to make them taste like. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think it actually contains dairy. Um, <coughs> all right. Well, it's got real chocolate. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, it's got a little bitterness to it. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe like. Two out of five hop cones. Sweetness, it's kind of sweet, so let's say four out of five sugar cubes. It's a sweet dessert like beer. Um, now, you haven't been too impressed with the Aldi store brands. You say they're kind of ordinary. They just kind of like, it's like they're trying to, and I don't know if it's just the the labels are making me think, oh, well, you're trying to look like this, and then you taste it, and, and then you automatically compare what you see the label is trying to drive you to another brand. So automatically you're making a comparison. Yeah, and you're saying that same companies are making beers for, for Trader Joe's, which I don't necessarily find that's the true because, truth, because some of those beers are made by... So, uh, 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 Rhinelander and uh, Gordon Birch. Gordon Beers. Beers. No, I said, I said that this company here makes some beers for Trader Joe's. I didn't say they made all of them. Oh. <clears throat> um, like, you know that barrel aged stout? That's the same people that made this. I can see that. Wanakee, Wisconsin. Another. A beer company that they do contract brewing for is called 
what is it called? Art. Untitled Art. Yeah, Untitled Art. All their beers are contract brewed at um, State of Brewing or Octopi. Um, anyway, um, mouthfeel is it's not heavy. It's not a heavy beer. Mm -mm. Medium body, pretty dry finish. Not finishing sweet and gross. It's just like yeah, like you're saying, kind of basic chocolate. It's fine. Um, Six ninety nine a four pack. Eight percent. I mean, it's like something to try. Um, I'm gonna say it's like a 88. It's very good, but it's not great or anything. I'm gonna give it 85. It, to me, it's a water. It's another watered down stout with chocolate in it. Yeah. Well, hey, gotta call it as you see it. That's not a big difference. Four, uh, three points. As you taste it. Right. And uh. They had another one there they called Hoppin' Something. It was a um, session IPA from this same contractor. And I was like, eh, I don't really feel like, I don't even like ses session IPAs. No. The only one I like is from Founders. Yeah, the all day IPA. It's one of the few I like. Yeah, the all day IPA. So I, I, I'm thinking, did State of Brewing make a really great session IPA? Actually, the one I tried in the advent calendar pack was much better than average. I was thinking it's going to be so bland, you know, it's going to taste like hop water, but it didn't. So maybe, maybe it'll be worth buying. I don't know. It was only like seven ninety nine for a four or a six pack, six pack. I just don't want to drink six session IPAs. But if it's good, yeah, if it's if it's if it's up to the. And there's no way it could be, but if it would be up to the founders all day IPA level, yeah, then you'd want it, but right. most people can't do it. So anyway, so anything else to say? Nope. Yep. Alright, that's it. You can buy it and check it out. I mean, you know, it's, it's good. And we're going to end this review, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay. Y'all go to Wanakee, Wisconsin and tour the State of Brewing Brewery. Drink better beers, kids.